Hi Gemini, I hope that you're all doing well. Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. What's going on, Gemini? Making a big decision about something. Somebody wants to tell you how they're feeling about working with you. Remember, energies can always be reversed. We're just going to stick with one narrative and you can switch it if that works for you. I'm seeing somebody decide that they're going to come through and talk about how they're feeling as it relates to somebody that they've been interacting with closely, working with closely. Something's being worked out here, I'm seeing. I'm seeing patience, I'm seeing someone taking time with something that they're doing over here. It's like you could even be trying to work something out with, with someone and figure out the best way to do this. But I'm seeing something that takes a lot of time and energy. This is something that rather than it being like an easy interaction or it be easy to collaborate with this person, I'm seeing it's doable but it's something that like you really have to tend to carefully. And for some of you, you have the feeling that maybe a different type of scenario or setup would work out more easily for you. For some of you, it's like, I don't want a collaboration to be this difficult. I think it should be easier than this, and maybe this isn't worth it to you anymore. Whether this be somebody you're like actually working with or you're hanging out with or whatever it is. Like, as I said before, this is something doable, but it's something that it takes a lot of time and energy, I'm seeing. So it's not the easiest thing. That doesn't mean you can't accomplish it, but it may not be the most effective thing as you feel. Yeah, I'm seeing, like, all this drawn-out energy... Maybe something even is a quite delicate process. It's like this aspect of it takes time, this other aspect of it takes time. Hmm. Interesting. You have somebody watching you. But they are watching you be in the process of doing something right now. And I don't know what this person's intentions are as of yet. But I'm seeing somebody curious about you. Someone definitely keeping tabs on you for sure. They could even watch you... If you were waiting around for something... I'm seeing you, like, not really know that this person is watching you. I'm seeing there be a sense of, like, not being aware that this person is keeping tabs on you. You're very focused on what you're manifesting right now and what you've been investing in. But I'm seeing it's taking so long. And it's, like, maybe even somebody on the outside that's been watching you. Who is this person? We're gonna find out. Yeah, I'm seeing you be like the little alchemist over here with, with what it is that you're doing. So I'm seeing you be like so involved and absorbed in what you're doing, like as you should be. I'm seeing you be very present, very focused, 
Like I'm even seeing like something even professional that you're doing and it's something that you take like precious care of is what I'm hearing. So it's like, I don't think you would expect maybe somebody to be watching you. Mm, I don't know if this is creepy or not. We're going to get into it because like, I don't know what exactly this person's intentions are. Like in a way, I'm even seeing someone like kind of behind a bush a little bit, but maybe it's not like that. The thing that I find a little bit strange is that you don't have awareness that this person is watching you. Well, I mean, now you do, but, um, like, maybe it's just because of the setting that you're in. You wouldn't expect someone to be watching you. Mm. This feels a little bit stalkerish, Just a little bit. It would be weird if they didn't say anything to you and they kept watching you as intensely as they did. I think that's the thing. It's one of those moments where you're doing something and like you're so involved in it that you don't realize somebody's staring at you and then you look up and somebody's like making very intense eye contact with you and you're like, I'm seeing it be one of those situations energetically. So let's see what's going on with this. Somebody wants to talk feelings with you. But this could be... For some of you, this is somebody that you're working with. This is so strange. Yeah, I, as I said, somebody that you're working with. Just getting the vibe. Weird, weird. Okay, we're going to break this down in a moment. I just want to see the whole movie here. Somebody's trying to figure out whether or not they should bring a particular element into the dynamic that you have with them. And I'm seeing like something that has not happened yet, but somebody that's continuously watching you. So this can be somebody that you've even been interacting with them in like a professional way or a platonic way or something like that. And it's like they have other intentions I'm seeing. It's like... Hmm. I don't know how receptive you would be to this, actually, Gemini. I'm getting a little bit like creepy vibes from this person. Like, they see you as something that they want. Like, I'm seeing them actually perceive you as the Queen of Cups. Which would mean, like, the way that you're being viewed is somebody very, like, creative, nurturing, very in touch intuitively, emotionally. Like, this is a very feminine energy that you're being perceived in. Like, somebody very receptive. Somebody, like, comforting and understanding and just, like, dreamy in that way. Like, this is how you're being perceived. I'm not seeing you necessarily identify completely with that. Like, that may be an aspect of your being, but I'm also seeing, like, a very hardworking energy. I'm seeing you be very focused on the work that you do. Um, I'm seeing, like, all of this stuff where it's, like, you're so much more than maybe, like, the this, like, outward thing that this person perceives you as. It's weird, like, maybe this person doesn't actually know you very well. Because I'm seeing, like, for some reason, it's almost like they only know who you are on the surface, and 
they're also like projecting onto you because I'm seeing it's like behind it you are like this like very intelligent alchemist type of energy and it's like they may even be like the way that they perceive you is reductive this is what I'm getting more than anything but it's weird because I'm not necessarily seeing this person as having interacted with you. It's like they have, I don't even know if they've had a conversation with you to even know who you are, what you're about. So it's like they don't even actually know who you are. It's like they're falling in love with their projected image of you. For some of you, this is something going on in a work setting I'm seeing very blatantly here. I'm seeing something even potentially controversial that would be taking place. Ooh, interesting. This feels like a little soap opera, Gemini. Let's get more. They see you as being ideal, but as I said before, like, they don't actually know you. I'm telling you, they're, like, falling in love with the image of you that they're, like, projecting onto you. So it's, like, you could really replace anybody with, like, this thing that that they love. It's, like, you could stick any character in there. They're, like, falling in love with, like, a costume. And that's not to say that you aren't these things, but as I said before... It's reductive how this person is looking at you. But because they're being like weird, and that is the word that I'm getting coming through. Like this is not my personal opinion. I'm channeling the energy that I'm seeing here. There's something bizarre about how this person is like looking at you and not necessarily interacting with you. And I'm just seeing you be concerned with other things. It's like you have other stuff going on. For some of you, you even like run a business or there's something like that you take very seriously when it comes to your work. There's something going on with Neptune here. When Neptune gets involved, which this is no surprise at all, I'm seeing both Pluto and also Neptune, which you could have some sort of contact with this person. Um, Venus Pisces. Venus Neptune contact for some of you that you have with this person within your synastry. I'm not seeing you as knowing this person very well, so you may not have like no proof of this because you don't know when, where, whatever they were born, but I'm seeing something with Pluto, something with Neptune, okay? So, and potentially Venus, which is on the bottom of the deck. When Neptune is involved, this means that, like, this person looking at you, as I said before, like, they may be projecting this image onto you that is not who you actually are. However, Neptune can be a delusional energy if it's not grounded, and so somebody may actually be in that space where they're not grounding where they're not grounding their energy and they're thinking that they're going to come through and make some sort of, like, I'm even getting a Don Quixote vibe here. Gemini. I'm so sorry, Gemini. It's like, I'm seeing somebody even have this image. It's like, they're going to come through, like, very valiantly, like a prince, but it's like... No, stop. Can we... Okay. The way... <laughs> the way that this... No, the way that this person is coming through, it's like... How do we say this? You know those goggles that you can put on and be in a... Um, what is it? R virtual reality? It's like, instead of them seeing what's actually going on around them, I'm seeing somebody have the goggles on. And, like, the goggles are Neptune. So it's like, they think that you guys are in a fairy tale. 
together and it's like you have no idea about any of this because that's not what's really happening i'm seeing them even like imagine you like wearing this like particular outfit like on your wedding day and all of this stuff and it's like in reality like i don't even think they've said anything to you yet this is so wild <laughs> this is so wild gemini this person i'm seeing very ungrounded like maybe they have some mental health stuff going on Yeah, for some of you, you work with this person and it's like they want something more from you, but I'm seeing there just be like a strange vibe that you get from this person. It's like something like something's not completely. I don't know, they're like missing pieces to this and like the way that this person is coming through even. Uh, I will say this too, for some of you, if you take on clients, this can be a client and it's like they're, they're coming through wanting to work with you, but it's like they have other intentions. It's like they think this is going to turn into like a romantic fantasy with you. Meanwhile, it's like you're just trying to work. I'm, I'm seeing you decide to like actually exit out of this. This may be a quite uncomfortable situation for some of you actually. For some of you, this is actually an ex I'm getting. It can even be an ex coworker. But yeah, I'm seeing something go on. It's like this person has other ideas of what's going on between you. You would know what this is because like in the fantasy space of what's going on with them like you are not following that at all it's like they're watching a movie in their head and that's not what's going on in reality and like i i do not commonly use the word delusional so i really do mean it when i say it i'm seeing like something very ungrounded something like possibly even delusional with this person's energy with neptune here which neptune in an ungrounded frequency absolutely can be so yeah i'm seeing you have like a strange interaction even with someone where you get like a weird feeling or you're like, I don't like the direction of this or like something's even revealed to you about like what this person's intentions were and you're like, I'm going to get out of here. I'm not going to stick around for this. And I'm seeing this be something that you're working through. It's like something that you want to find the best way to, to handle this. It may just be something that kind of comes along with what you do, like getting the random oddball at times, like coming through trying to interact with you. For some of you, you're like even married or in a relationship. This is the strangest reading, Gemini. I feel like this is a movie or a TV show. Like, I can't even imagine. I mean, I can actually, but. Yeah, very strange. For some of you too, you could be working with somebody like at your job that is like somehow emotionally um, manipulative even. For some of you, this is a mother figure. <sighs> yeah, I'm seeing like 
clarity and substance being brought to something that had been previously very ungrounded. I'm seeing somebody come through making some sort of emotional gesture towards you about being together with them. It looks like somebody that you collaborate with or work with or that you have worked with, something like that. Something about collaborating with this person. So it's like, what they want in relation to you is very different than the reality of what you've had with this person. For some of you, this really is a client that's coming through and it's like they have romantic feelings for you and they are going to let that be known, but it's like they have, they're projecting onto you so hard that it's like they're not even seeing you or understanding like how delusional this actually is. But I'm seeing you move away from it. It's like, even to a point where you're like, I don't particularly feel safe being around this energy. So I'm seeing you move on from it. So this may be something that you like abandon completely, actually. Like for some of you, this is a client that you're not going to be taking on anymore. You may like block them or like do something to protect yourself. Because I'm seeing you have, like, other things within your life that you're working on. It's, like, this may be an aspect of your life. Like, maybe for some of you, it's, like, happening at, at your job and stuff. And it's, like, in your personal life, I'm actually seeing you, like, working on your relationships and whatnot. Yeah, I'm hearing something go south. For some of you, you could have even... For those of you that that's not your story, I'm seeing a notion of, like, somebody coming through in a way where, like, it's going to be the same kind of storyline that's repeating, although the characters can be interchangeable a bit. Somebody's coming through with intentions that, like, I'm seeing it be, in a way, it's innocent, but it may not feel like that because of how ungrounded this energy is. I'm seeing somebody that may, like, perceive that things are going to be a particular way, because as I said before with Neptune involved, it's like... Somebody may see things as being very fanciful and like it's going to be so romantic and there are going to be like flowers everywhere and we'll have like this dinner and we'll go to the yacht after. It's like all of the stuff that they're imagining things being like. And then it's like in the reality of this situation when you connect with this person, it's like things do not work. I'm seeing shadow work that needs to be worked on and it's like very different than how it had felt initially. So it's like there is a snap back into reality that happens where like somebody's even like fantasy space gets checkmated is what I'm hearing. So I'm seeing it be like come to an end here because something can't continue. Reality check. And I'm seeing like in the other half of the spread because I'm seeing that be like one half and then we have another half here. I'm seeing you patiently working on something that you've been investing in related to a relationship. I'm seeing you waiting on something. For some of you, it's related to job, career, or a relationship that's taking off. And I'm seeing like somebody observing you feeling, feeling a type of way about something. I'm looking at Pluto, Neptune, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aquarius... Like, you may be working on a career opportunity or a project and it's something that hasn't fallen into place yet. This can also be a relationship. It's, like, a particular person. Like, you may be at the point where you're, like, I'm ready to invest in a relationship. And I'm waiting for things to align or something within your career to align. And it's, like, still, I'm seeing somebody, like, on the outskirts observing you. There's, like, definitely something going on, like, inside of this person, like, energetically, I'm getting. It's, like, not everything is going... I'm getting something, like, 
something is like like messed up with their chakras and like the way that the energy comes out is what I'm getting with the five of wands I'm getting a really interesting visual it's like I, I don't even know how this is possible but I'm getting it's like the energy that's supposed to come out of like the heart chakra like comes out of the solar plexus it's like something something like that it would have to do with like blockages maybe something even with the third eye with this person This looks like the end of a chapter for you. For some of you, someone from your past is coming back around to try to rekindle a love situation with you. Or you could be thinking a lot about this person. I'm seeing somebody that wants to make plans with you. I'm seeing love. I'm seeing you like focusing on yourself, taking care of yourself, managing your responsibilities, even taking care of things in, in the home or like animals, children, stuff like that. I'm seeing a plan be made related to like your stability or even a home, something like that, or your sense of security. And then I'm seeing like disappointment. I'm seeing heartbreak. Something about like even sadness and regret, something not working out. Where's the other person though? I'm hearing completing a mission. You're walking away from something. I'm seeing you prioritize yourself here and there's just something that had not been panning out for you at all and I'm seeing you be like you know what I'm not sticking around for this situation anymore it's like maybe you feel like you've been let down or hurt by somebody enough times to not want to repeat it again it's like I've learned my lesson now this isn't something that I'm gonna keep doing yeah, I'm seeing you have a conversation. Wow, a conversation that you hadn't had before. But I'm seeing it be like successful for you to do on your end. It's like now something that you don't have to have happen again. I'm getting something about the fall. I'm feel feeling this very strongly. Autumn, I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm seeing you get to a point where you're like, I have been let down so many times and I have like gotten hurt repeatedly and I keep it's like a cycle that until you're like you know what I don't want to do this anymore you experience the same thing over and over again it's like the tape just keeps rewinding and playing and rewinding and playing and rewinding and playing and I'm seeing you get